It's a new year, new me, I'm vlogging every day of January But I guess that means it's not a new me Because I'm doing the exact same thing that I did in 2020 Oh god, that can't be good Good morning, good morning Hello everyone, I thought today I would do the vlog a little bit differently And I'm gonna try to kind of go through a day in the life of me And I know you probably are thinking, you literally do that every day You're literally daily vlogging, like that is a day in the life of you Like yes, that's true But I show you like the fun moments or like the things I think might be entertaining or whatever So today might be super boring I'm gonna take you through literally step by step what I do in a day So today's Saturday, so it's a little different than a typical day Because it's not a work day I mean it is for me but it's not for the rest of the world, so I won't have as many emails and phone calls and stuff that I usually do. But still, I'm gonna take you through the mundane, boring crap of my day-to-day -day routine. Um, I like watching stuff like this. I like seeing how people put on their makeup, do their hair, what they eat, stuff like that. And what made me think of this is someone tweeted me, and I've seen this comment a bunch, but someone tweeted me today, can you please show what you're cooking today? I miss watching you cook. And I was like, oh yeah, I never really film that anymore. And also, I love watching people cook and just do random things like clean out their closet or do their makeup or whatever so that's what this is today you'll still see the stuff you usually see i'm sure in my vlogs because i don't do that much stuff so it's not that interesting but anyway let's get started so today it is already probably one or two it's almost two uh i didn't start off at the beginning of my day because you don't want to see that i went to bed at 4 a.m i woke up at 6 a.m with flynn and i was with him for a couple hours and then eric took him at 8 30 and then i slept from 8 30 to like 11 and then eric woke me up with the coffee which was very sweet and I got up I played with Flynn hung out with Corey made Flynn lunch then I took a shower or I put Flynn down for a nap and then I took a shower that was the first part of my day that you guys did not see didn't film it because I didn't want to you know I was mostly just tired and like a mess and then last time I filmed a shower routine y'all came for me and I got like majorly canceled because I don't use a loofah so I'm starting from right after the shower my hair is soaking wet just got out and I'm gonna do my makeup then I'm gonna do my hair so you're gonna watch what I do so what I do is I always find I usually find a new place in the house I don't know why I always do my makeup in a different place but I'm always on the floor. I'm never in front of like a mirror in a bathroom usually. So I'm on the floor in my office right now. I usually will put on YouTube videos and I will lay out my makeup on the ground like this. It looks like it's a mess, but it actually has like a rhyme and a rhythm. So I'm gonna start with my foundation. Now here's so Oh my god, this is already so boring. Ew. Um, so I have been quarantined as most people have been for almost a year now. Usually I, you know, I stick to the same products I always like, but I do like trying new products I like trying new foundations new concealers new eye colors like I like trying it I usually always go back to what I know but I've been running out of makeup and instead of buying the stuff I always buy in the last month I've been trying to get new stuff and so I wanted this month I was trying out like over-the-counter like drugstore makeup stuff but the problem is I can't go into stores because I don't because we're super safe here in our household and we choose to be completely quarantined and isolated from literally everything in the universe and so so I don't leave my house. So everything is delivered and I ordered um, some stuff. I searched like the best foundations, the best concealers, whatever, and that's what I got. So this is the best like over-the-counter drugstore concealer that I could find. It was like 14 bucks. It's L'Oreal 24 Fresh Wear. I had to guess my shade. I guessed wrong. It doesn't really match, but oh well. Sometimes I put on a moisturizer, sometimes I don't. Since I just remembered, I'm gonna go do it. All right, so actually Skincare by Hyrum recommended this to me. Sometimes I remember to put it on. It is elf moisturizer i like it it's like simple light it doesn't make me break out and it doesn't smell very good but whatever i don't care so i'm sure you're supposed to put this on like a certain way but i just kind of like rub it all over my face and create more wrinkles and now i'm gonna put on my foundation i've been wearing this for a couple days i don't hate it i don't like it but i don't hate it I'm just kind of like indifferent about it i don't know i don't see anyone anymore i just like live in my house and like only see my husband and my kid and corey i still put on makeup every day because it helps me to feel more confident i know that you don't need makeup to be beautiful and literally that is how i feel about every human i've ever seen in my life that i feel hideous if i'm not wearing makeup and i know that that's something i need to wear work on I have like an olive yellowy skin tone like you can see my eyes like they get like purpley gray and like underneath my eyes is all gray I have a filter by the way sometimes people are like oh my gosh Colleen your skin looks great these days the camera that I have has a filter on it I'm not gonna lie to y'all there's a filter on this camera to smooth out my skin and most youtubers use filters like that I'm gonna show you what it looks like without the filter so you can see the real me so now it's off so as you can see like it was a lot smoother before like it kind of smooths out your skin so I got all my wrinkles and my spots I 
have dark bags under my eyes, scarring, like these are not freckles, they're like scars from acne. I have, you know, a mustache, which most girls do, especially if you have dark hair. I usually get rid of that, but you don't need to get rid of that. Like live your life. Everyone has body hair, so I don't know why it's ingrained in us that women need to get rid of it. It's really stupid, but I do choose to get rid of it. Probably honestly, because it's ingrained in me to do so from my, you know, many years in society telling me that women shouldn't have body hair. Um, but I do get rid of mine. Even though I get rid of it, it still looks like I always have one, kind of like all the time. So this is what my face looks like. You know, makeup, I have a little bit of eyebrow stuff in because my eyebrows are sparse girl because I lived in the 90s where it was cool to pluck every freaking hair out of your eye head and draw on a really thin eyebrow. If you live through the 90s, you know it ruins your eyebrows. So now my eyebrows are really gross. Um, so I kind of already started the process of doing my eyebrows. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Oh, I'm gonna put the filter back on though because I'm insecure. See, smooth. <laughs> I do have a beauty blender. I like using beauty blenders the best, but I saw a TikTok like makeup artist be like, don't use beauty blenders, they're disgusting, use a brush. So I have a brush that I've been using, but I haven't been cleaning it, so I feel like it defeats the purpose. I dabble it on my hand, and then I spread it all over my face. Let's try it out. So now that I've put this foundation on my face, I like it, it feels really light. It kind of smells weird. I guess it smells fine, I don't know. It's really a light foundation, but it has pretty full coverage, which is impressive. So it doesn't feel cakey, but like kind of looks cakey, which <laughs> doesn't look cakey. But it does have full coverage, which I really like. And I lost the lid. So next I put on concealer. I usually use Shape Tape, but I looked up other good concealers and this came up as a good one. It is IT Cosmetics uh, concealer. And it's, I will tell you, it is full coverage, anti-aging waterproof concealer. And girl, she's thick. So I know there's like specific spots in your face you're supposed to put concealer. I don't really care guys. I don't have a lot of time to do makeup usually. It's Saturday so I'm taking a little bit more time today but usually I need to get it done in like five minutes. I've got a two year old but today I'm gonna do a little bit more. Ew, hair. I know you're supposed to put like here and like there's spots you're supposed to put it but I just put it under my eyes and on my eyelids. Those are the parts that I feel like need the most help and then there's a couple spots on my face I like to try to cover up. Okay, so now is when people use setting powders, but I hate them. Every time I've ever used a setting powder and baked my face, it like defines my wrinkles. It like makes it them more prominent. I don't look smooth. I don't have that beautiful finish. It just looks like super cakey and wrinkly and I look older and I just I hate baking. I hate powder. But I want this to set because otherwise this will crease, like the makeup on my face will crease. So that is why I use Studio Fix. I know people use this Studio Fix from MAC as like an actual foundation, but it's not full coverage enough for me. So I just kind of like dab this on top of the spots that I want to like, you know, kind of stay in place and not slide around. So that's what I'm doing right now. Next, I'm going to touch up my eyebrows. I always use Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. I am out of it. I'm waiting for it to arrive in the mail. It's gonna take like a week, which is super annoying. So I'm using what I have and what I have is this brow stylus definer pencil from L'Oreal. It was really cheap, drugstore, fine. I don't like it, but it's what I have, so whatever. I'm so bad at brows, guys, but whatever. Next, let's do my eyeballs. Because I have dark eyes, um, dark eyelids, and they're very wet eyelids, I always like to put some sort of eyeshadow or powder on my eyelids that looks just neutral and looks just like normal skin because otherwise they get really dark and it looks like I've been crying. So. I usually pack on um, some sort of like white or light, light peach color all over my eyelids to stop the oil from happening. So I'm actually using James Charles palette, which I really do love and I use all the time, as you can see by how messy it is. And if I'm feeling crazy and I have time, like I kind of do right now, I'll add a little bit of a shadow, barely, with like this light brown in the crease, but like barely. Like I kind of don't really, I never do this to be honest. Like this happens maybe once a month that I'll have time to actually put an eyeshadow on my crease but since this is a special video, I'll show you guys today. I am gonna put a little bit of a dark color on my lash line, just cause now there's like white powder all over my lash line. My eyelash routine right now is a hot mess because I like the fiber lash mascaras and I got a new one and I hate it and it doesn't work, but it kind of works a little bit. And so 
I put on the Voluminous, this is another new one I used, Voluminous Slash Paradise Waterproof L'Oreal. I guess L'Oreal has some good products. I'm not sponsored, but I'm using a lot of their products today. I'm using this. Oh my God, I'm such a beauty guru. And I'm not even gonna show you this up close because it's so stupid, it doesn't even work, but for some reason I'm still doing the agonizing pain of like, I put this on and then I do these. I really like fiber like mascaras. They make your eyes look like spider webs, like spiders. They're disgusting and clumpy and everyone who sees them is like, ew, your lashes are so clumpy and gross. But like, I live for it. I don't know why. I love a thick, clumpy lash. Like, it's disgusting, but I really do like it. We love a clumpy lady. And now I'm going to do my face. So I use a random brush that I've never cleaned in my life and the Hula bronzer that is broken because someone ripped it off and chewed on it when he was a little baby. And I put that in here somewhere, even though I don't really know what I'm doing, but I've seen people do that and that's what it looks like you're supposed to do. And then I put it up here because it's supposed to give the illusion your forehead isn't as massive as mine is. And then I'm using blush. This is the Patrick Star Blush. Oh, broken. I feel like blush is so pointless because it comes off after like three seconds. Like I feel like I put on blush and within five minutes, it's not on my face anymore. And I've tried every kind of blush. I don't know why that happens, but blush literally is pointless. It just falls off. I've heard you're not supposed to put blush like here. You're supposed to put it like up here, but like, I don't know. I don't know the difference. Okay. And then the final thing I'm using is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. These are super cheap. Everything I'm using today is really cheap and I really like these. And then you put on like this like top coat or something. I don't know. Too many steps for my normal everyday routine, but it's gonna work for now. And that's my makeup. That's how I do my makeup on a day like today, where I actually have time to like do lashes and whatever. Not like lashes, but like, I don't know. There's a simpler version of that where I don't put anything on my eyes and I literally just like quickly put one coat of mascara on and it takes a lot less time. But anyway, there's my face. Now I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I used to have the Dyson. I'll, I'll tell you that in the bathroom. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. All right, I've got my baby monitor, because phone's taking a snap. And this is the blow dryer I use, which is hilarious, because the first time I tried this, I hated it. And now I love it. I used to have the Dyson like $400 ridiculous blow dryer. It's a great blow dryer, but it broke after like a year. I heard that that's really common with those. And it's $400, that's insane. Like I bought it for a video and I used it, but I would never buy that just for like life. You know, it's way too expensive. This was like 30 bucks or 40 bucks and I like it way better. It's kind of like giving yourself a blowout. Like I have naturally curly hair, but because my haircut is a blunt cut, my hair is not curling as much as it usually does. In order to have your hair curl, it needs to be like layered otherwise it's too heavy. So that's why I usually go for like a straighter look these days. Um, so I'm going to blow dry my hair. Now it doesn't get it like a pretty perfect straight. I have to go over it with a straightener, but it certainly blow dries it way better than with a normal blow dryer. And it was cheap and people who don't have curly hair like me, like I feel like they really love this product, but I do section by section. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And yeah, here we go. Okay, so first layer is done. And as you can see, if you look up closely, it's like pretty frizzy um, because I have frizzy hair. This does not smooth out your hair in like a straightener kind of a way. But if you do section by section, it does get it pretty straight and then you can just go over it with a flat iron or a curling iron if you want to. <sighs> I'm gonna do the rest of my hair. It's taking a very long time right now because my hair is very wet. Usually I let my hair air dry a little bit before I do this and it's way faster. Anyway, I'm gonna go do this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this is the blowout that blow dryer gives me. It's straight, but it's poofy. So now I will go over it with like a straightening iron or if I'm wanting like the big 90s poofy look, I can keep this. So I'm gonna try to smooth this out because this is too much. You know, this is a little crazy. Okay, I realized what time it was and I don't really have time to finish my hair. So it's just gonna be a little bit 90s poofy today, which is fine, we love that. Um, because Flynn is gonna wake up soon. So I need to edit my vlog. So while Flynn is napping is when I try to get as much work as possible done. So Corey comes in the morning and he edits the vlog. If it's a weekday, he stays the whole day and we do tons of work together. But on the weekends, he comes in the morning and he edits my vlog for me. And then I go through and I rewatch the vlog and edit it a little bit more and then I upload it, pick a thumbnail, all that. So that's what I need to start the 
the process of right now because Flynn's gonna wake up soon and it's really hard to get stuff done with Flynn's wake because he's so fun and um, he wants to play and all that stuff. I also am realizing right now I have not really eaten much today. I had a little bit of a breakfast and a little snack, but it's, you know, 2.45 and I need to eat. I might try to find something on Postmates. Is this entertaining? I feel like this is, what is this one curl? Like get a life. Anyway, I'm gonna edit, goodbye. <laughs> all right, my vlog is exporting and I just called Jojo. Jojo had FaceTimed me, so I just FaceTimed her back while my video is exporting. She said that she drove near my house and there's construction near my house. So now I know that I can take Flynn to a walk on a walk after he wakes up, which it looks like he's waking up. Um, and we can go see some construction. Um, I also need to call my sister, but I guess I don't have time. I just uh, update, because I'm telling you everything about my day today. I text Eric, um, yes, I text him and I'm in the same house as him, but it's a big house and I was in the middle of something. And so I text him and said, do you want Taco Bell? Because I'm ordering Taco Bell. So we ordered Taco Bell because we're disgusting and Flynn's waking up, so I'm gonna go give him some cuddles. That's how my kid works. He loves a cuddle session. I love a cuddle session, it's amazing. So I'm gonna go cuddle my little boo. Hopefully by the time we're done cuddling, my video will be exported and then I can upload it and all that stuff. Let's go cuddle Flynn. Good morning, Muffin. Did you have a good nap? Do you want some cuddles? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Come here, snuggle bugs. Thank you. Snuggles. Do you have a good nap? I love this about my kid. He loves to snuggle. It takes him a long time to wake up, which is amazing. So whenever he wakes up in the morning or from nap, it's like just a long cuddle session. It's amazing. Spit out that binky dink. We're gonna cuddle. See you later. Got my Taco Bell. Ugh. What? <gasps> Ugh. This is poisoned. You know when the um, Coke dispenser like puts out like, and then it doesn't work and there's not enough syrup and it's like yucky. You know what I'm talking about? He's just looking for chips. All right, well, that's disappointing. I got a crunchy taco, bean cheese burrito and onions, and I got plain gotcha. nacho chips with cheese sauce. Um, yeah. All right, Flynn needs a snack, so I'm gonna get on that. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Flynn and Eric are hanging out so that I can finish doing some work. So I'm uploading my vlog now. Make a thumbnail, get some emails done, edit some other stuff, and then we're probably gonna go for a little family walk. <laughs> we're gonna go see some trucks, hopefully. Huh, Flynn? Do you more? You want me to put on this shoe? Yeah. Okay. Should I put this on? Yep. Yeah. Do you wanna go see some trucks? Yep. Yeah. Flynn does this thing, it's my favorite thing ever, where he'll tell you he wants something and when you repeat it back to make sure you understand, he acts like you're forcing him. Oh. Like he'll go, um, put on your shoes? He just did it, so I turn on the camera. He goes, put on your shoes? And I said, you want me to put on my shoes? And he goes, okay. He does it all the time and it's my favorite thing ever. I've yet to catch it on camera, I don't think I'm- Do you wanna go see some trucks? See, now he's not, yeah. That's oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go see some tracks. See. Oh my gosh, what do you see? Oh, um, okay. <laughs> what do you see? You guys, we see. We got some construction trucks. Your truck? Let's show them your truck. Say bye bye. We are home from our walk and it's dinner. There's a YouTube channel called 20 Trucks that has a lot of great songs that Flynn loves. That's what we're listening to.
What did you say? What do you want? No, do -do. You want a doo-doo? Yeah. Oh, he just did it again and I missed it though. Okay. Hey, Do we have doo-doo? Yeah. You won't do it now. I don't know about doo-doo. I don't know. Chocolate milk? No. He has to suggest it first. Okay. It's like he has to suggest something. <laughs> and then yes. it's so funny because it's so dramatic. Like literally he goes like, oh, okay. But it's like after he's requested something that usually he shouldn't have. Alrighty. Oh, are you pooping? Stinks. Whew. Did you go poop? Okay, come here. Things that go. Oh, toy time. Let's make some vehicle noises. What does the dump truck say? Go. Okay. What's the train say? Choo choo. <gasps> Race. Oh, I think you did poo. It stinks, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Flynn, that is stinky poo. Did you poo? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What'd you find? Stinky poo is what I found. Clean it up. Clean it up. You want me to clean up your poo? Okay. <laughs> you kind of got a version up there. You want me to clean up your poo? I'm laying down. You want to lie down on the ground for the cleanup? Yay. Okay. False alarm. No poops. Just some stinky toots. So now is the time of night where I usually have a little me time, whether that means I edit a video or I just sit on my phone for 20 minutes or whatever. This is Eric's time to give Flynn a bath. And so during this time, I typically will work or just relax or look on social media or whatever. But today we are going to make dinner. And we haven't really done like a full blown like cooking dinner in a long time because uh, we just don't want to. But I got a food problem processor for my brother for Christmas and my sister-in-law and their whole family. It was a really generous, sweet gift and I've never used a food processor before. So I asked him for some recipes and he sent me a couple of his favorites, one of which was falafel. I love falafel. So we're gonna try to make falafel. I've never done it before. I'm going to do for the side a Greek salad. I'm gonna do it my way, which is not a classic, like typical Greek salad. I've shown you guys before, but I will show you again. Today I'm using what I have. Chop up a cucumber, a red bell pepper, Kalamata olives, feta cheese. I make croutons from loaves of bread, whatever I can find in the house. I usually put in an avocado and tomatoes. I don't know if we have those things, but I chop them pretty small. I don't like onions in my Greek salad. I don't like lettuce in my Greek salad. So I just chop all that stuff up and I mix in a Greek feta salad dressing and it's... I'm gonna have a shot. So I think I'm gonna do that now. And then Eric and I can do the food processor with the falafel later. So that's what I'm about to do. So many things have happened in the last 10 minutes. I was about to chop up the salad, but I wanted to double check the falafel recipe. And part of the recipe is you have to let it like sit in the fridge for an hour. So I actually need to make the falafel first. I'm going to um, try to use this food processor, um, but I called my brother to try to figure out how to use it because I never used one. And while I was FaceTiming my brother, Christopher, my husband, FaceTimed me, which was weird. When I answered, there was poop everywhere, poop everywhere, poop everywhere on the floor in the bathroom. And he's like, I need you. And so I ran upstairs and Flynn, right before he got in the bath, decided I'm going to poop all over the floor. And so he did. And so we had to clean that up. I've washed my hands and now I'm going to put falafel ingredients in here. Cool. One can of chickpeas, a chunk of a red onion, some parsley, some cilantro, a couple cloves of garlic, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of cumin, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Guess that's it. And now I just put the lid on it, walk into place or something. Like, okay, this is not going well for me. Turn to walk. Ah, I had it on backwards. Do you want to push the button? Yeah. Okay, come here. The button's over here. Sure. Good job. We did it. I had a little baking powder and a quarter cup of flour. Mix it all together. I'm going to put it in the fridge to chill for an hour while I put Flynn to sleep. Look at the I see, baby. I'm proud of you. <laughs> You're brushing your teeth? Bye. You want to talk to the bunny? Bye. Bye. You got to finish bye. brushing your teeth first, okay? Bye. You want to see the bye. bunny? Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 <gasps> Hi, Bunny. Hi, Dada. How are you? Can I pet you? Do you mind? Yeah, sure. You're not going to bite me or anything. No, right? I'm not going to bite you. Okay. I'm just going to... Tickle Dada! Tickle Dada! Tickle Dada! Ha ha, tickle Dada! Okay, I won't tickle you. I'll just... I'll eat you. Yucky, Daddy does not taste good. Daddy! You want to see the doggy? Daddy, yay! Oh, hi, Daddy. Hi, 
Hi, Doug. Hi, Doggy. Hi, Doggy. Hi, Flynn. Can you say hi? Hi. What'd you do today? You <laughs> did a bip, 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 bip. You saw a bulldozer in the dirt? Oh, he dumped it. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool truck. Okay. Whatever you do, don't blow me away. Uh, don't blow me away. Say night night. And do get Okay, if you insist. Greek salad and hummus and the falafel, which I'm unsure of, and the pita. So what are you doing? How do you, how do you like it? He's mad because I put the camera on him. How do you like it? Turn it around. Surprise. I literally film myself every day. I do not care. How do you like it? I like it a lot. I do it every day. <laughs> we're about to eat dinner and we're gonna probably watch a murder documentary and snuggle and go to bed. So I'll let you guys know how the falafel is, but then I'm not gonna show you the rest of my day because it's just gonna be us cuddling and watching TV. So you don't need to see that. Mom life. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm not gonna pick up the toys or the diaper. I'm just gonna scooch them over. Okay, I gotta try this falafel. And dip it in a little hummy. What's the verdict? Oh no. Oh, I'm sure they're great. You're just making a face. The flavor is fine, but the consistency is like, you know how falafel is like crumbly? This doesn't crumble, honey. It's mush. I know my salad is good. I did something wrong with falafel. I'll figure it out. Oh well. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. You can relax, Colleen and Eric have a podcast, the world is scary and we're locked in our home, but now we have big microphones, so you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.